my beloveds and happy Monday. Today is July 6th. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend as July has been quite an interesting month so far and we're only seven days in. So we've got a lot of planetary energy going on. We've got Cancer, Uranus, again Pluto, and Jupiter making some moves and lots of lots of energy. But you know what this energy is all about? It's about change. It's about healing. It's about moving forward. And more importantly, it's about transformation. We are at the midpoint of 2015. Can you believe it? I can't believe it myself. And as I just move forward in life and doing what I do and being who I am, I recognize and realize that this is a um, very important time for us to really connect with what it is we said we wanted to do at the beginning of 2015. What was going to be our year goal, our year intention, what were our resolutions. So I've got a couple things I'd like to offer you today, but before we get started, of course, I always like to start with prayer, and I also want to let you know I've been gifted some beautiful cards, so today our message will come from the saints and angels, as well as our tarot. So let's go ahead and just take it to prayer. Remember doing our prayer now, so we're doing this, putting our two fingers together and our thumbs right into our heart. So just breathing in the good breath, the God breath, knowing right here and now, all that is happening, all that is and all that will ever be is, is good, is God. And it's from this place of knowing that we are connected to the one that is the one, that I speak this word. So on this day, Monday, July 7th, I speak this word knowing that each and every one of us receives the divine message, the divine clarity, and the divine wisdom that we need for this week. So I bless our week knowing that regardless of what the planets are doing, we are centered, we are strong, and we are purposeful in what it is we are here to do. And so I'm just blessing our week, calling it good, calling it great, calling it grand. And so as I bless our week, I bless our body temples, our cells, our skin, our DNA, our bones, our organs. I bless it all. And as I bless our body temples, I bless our dwellings, where we lay our head, where is our sanctuary. I bless it knowing that every person that comes in is coming into a place of love, a place of peace, and a place of you. And in our homes, I bless anyone who lives with us and around us, including our pets and our plants. I bless our significant others, our families, our friends, our co-workers, knowing that everyone we are connected to is who we're supposed to be connected to. And as I bless our co-workers, I bless our work, our purpose, what is here we are here to do, regardless of what it looks like. I know that we are living on purpose with passion, with priority and with divine and perfect prosperity. So I bless our bank accounts. I bless it all, calling it all good, knowing there's nothing need to do. There's nothing left to say. Only thank you, thank you, thank you more, please. I am open and abundant. I am open and ready to receive all that is here for me now, knowing that all is well and so are we. I let it be and so it is. So first things first, I wanted to make an announcement because again, as I was talking at the beginning, I wanted to share with something with you that I do. I know I'm always talking about my tarot readings, my psychic ability, things like that, but also I'm a licensed spiritual counselor. And so as a licensed spiritual counselor, I wanna afford you and offer you the opportunity to heal, to cleanse, to guide you to what it is that you need. Again, being at this halfway mark, there's gotta be something that is, might be ready to emerge. Again, like I said, this is a time of transformation. So I'd love to offer you a gift this, this week of a spiritual counseling session for 30 minutes for $30. And the reason I'm doing this is so you can get to know me and I can get to know you. And I will throw in a free 15 minutes, so a 45 minutes spiritual counseling for only $30. So if you're ready to take the plunge and see what it is that's holding you back from living the way you wanted to live in 2015. And remember, I said a word for myself and it was miraculous. So if you can remember back to January 1st, what was your word for 2015? And if you have forgotten, maybe it's time that you check in and get a spiritual counseling session. You can send me an email at tarotlifecoach at gmail.com. I'll be looking forward to connecting with you. Again, these are life transforming healing sessions that allow you to 
clear any past beliefs, any past pain, and any past stories. And, and opens you to a whole new beginning with spiritual practice and principles that you can take and use in your daily life. So let's see what the angels and the saints have to say. Again, I'm so excited. This, these, this deck that I've been gifted has been quite amazing. It's always so interesting when I get a new deck. It always seems like it's talking directly to me. So again, and you know what? It's the sounds of summer you hear in the background. So ooh, we got some good cards. I know these are for me and I know that they're for you. So the first one we get is Believe. And this is about St. Hildegard Rugenen. And I love her story and I love her. So you have to believe in order to receive. And this goes again right along with what I was saying for the spiritual counseling. So what are your beliefs? Are they old beliefs that are blocking you, holding back? This is the time now to believe. Again, we've got this intuitive cancer and sun right now, which is really keeping things very interesting, very sensitive time, very contemplative time, but very also very changing time. So if you're ready for some changes, I'm here. The next one we get then is look deeper. Somewhere, something, you need to look a little deeper, dive in, see what is reflecting itself back to you. Again, spiritual counseling can help you look dig deeper so you can emerge, heal, let go, and really be living the life of purpose. But what do you need to look at deeper here? And then we get pray. You know I'm all about prayer. You know my hashtag is be, be a prayer. I'm always in a prayerful mood and I love to pray, which is why I do a prayer here at the beginning. And also want to let you know with the prayer, if you are ready to go a little bit deeper, you can join me on Wednesday at noon Eastern Standard Time for Miracle Club. That's where we pray, we practice, and we... I don't want to say preach, but we understand our spiritual connection to who we truly are using A Course in Miracles, Science of Mind, Ancient Wisdom, and New Thought Principles. So if you're interested, again, you can check it out on my website, www.tarolifecoach.com, or you can like our page on Facebook, it's Miracle Club, or you can even join our closed group on Facebook, which is also Miracle Club. So check out the events. Miracle Club is this Wednesday. If you are an internet national caller we have call numbers for everywhere so you can call from yours from your country at no cost so again miracle club is free it's where i get to be spiritual teacher and student because i'm always 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 learning and i've got some really exciting things i want to share with you in the next couple of weeks we've got a new moon next week so i'm going to be starting a new chapter and i will be sharing that with you next week and i'm looking forward to that it's something i've thought about for a long time and I'm going to be asking for your help, but I'll have to keep you waiting until next week. So let's see what the tarot have to say. So, okay. All right. So very along the same lines as our beautiful messages from the saints and angels. So our first card is the six of swords. Remember, swords represent air and thought, but also action. Where are you going? Swords are also cutting, but it looks like he's moving forward. So where do you need to move forward? Where do you need to, again, have your beliefs so you can move forward? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? This is the time, a perfect time. It's Holy Spirit, where do I need to go? Holy Spirit, what do I need to do? Holy Spirit, what do I need to say and to whom? This is how I pray. And that's how you can pray too. So that's what this card is saying, the Six of Swords. And then we get the star. So again, this is about prayer. Again, looking a little deeper. Very similar cards. She's looking into the water. She's looking up at the sky. And the looking deeper card has a very similar effect. So the star, again, it's time for you to shine your light on what it is that you want to do. What is your purpose? What is your passion? And if you're not living it, why not? Again, let me help you with a spiritual counseling session if you are ready to really shine your light and shine on the world, which is why I'll be making an announcement next week to let you know what I'll be doing. And then we get the nine of pentacles. Again, pentacles represent value, worth, prosperity. This is your time. She is crossed over. Nine are also beginnings, a completion. Something has ended, a new cycle is beginning. I'm definitely feeling this card for myself, and I really hope that you're connecting with it as well because this is also about opening to new beginnings. When one door closes, another door is always open. So what door do you need to close? What door 
needs to be firmly shut once and for all. And what are you waiting for? Where is your new beginning? Allow it to come. Again, the Six of Swords is all about that movement, going somewhere different, starting over. Again, not in a place of fear, but a chance to change, a chance to evolve, a chance to grow, and a chance to heal, and a chance to transform. So as we are right in the midst of summer, I really hope that you're enjoying yourself, having a good time, enjoying summer, getting out in the sun, enjoying nature and all of her beauty. And so, so many things I can't wait to share with you next week. We do have a new moon on the 15th and then the following Wednesday, my birthday, can't wait. But again, I have to wait until Monday. I have to be a little more patient. But I guess it's my birthday that is bringing a lot of changes for me, a lot of inspirational thoughts, inspirational feelings, and inspiration to share, shine, and serve. So until next week, beloveds, know you are loved, you are light, and you are oh so blessed. Peace and blessings.